What's up, YouTube? Will D's coming at you with this structure deck pack opening. I just want to let you guys know uh, I'm kind of currently feeling under the weather, so that's why my voice kind of sounds like this. But, um, and I know I'm a little bit late to the party with this uh, structure deck, but I've been looking everywhere for this and I had no luck. And then finally, my nephew. Um, was able to find one and actually pick me up a copy because he knows I was looking for it everywhere um, So now I've got it and I want to do a uh, opening for you um, And I'm super excited. I mean this I, I was collecting the Salamangrids when they first came out um, before the even structure deck um, And but now with the structure deck there's just even more consistency with it. So and one of the huge things about this deck also is that it has a, a common um, Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Now, I only have one that I pulled uh, from my Kaiba collection, so um, this will be my second one. But let's go ahead and get it started. Also, before we get started, go ahead and, and uh, check out, I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description for uh, uh, Inked Gaming. I am an affiliate for Ink Gaming, so if you need any play mats, any sleeves, dice, just check them out. I'll leave a, a code also. Also, go ahead and like and subscribe. That definitely helps me out. I'm shooting for 200 uh, subscribers. I'm currently at about 116 right now, so shout outs to all my people that follow. Thanks. I love you guys. So, here, let's see. This beginner's guide talks about how to play the game. Now I really like these uh, these mats here, and I wish there was a way. I mean, I guess you can always go to bit of Ink Gaming, and you can actually probably transfer this over to get it on an actual play mat here. But you get the paper play mat, and then kind of some more promo on how to do the combos. So that's pretty cool. All right, then you gotta give it up for Dual Links. All my Duel Links players. I play a little bit, so let's, let's put it like over here. All right. So here's that re like Heat Leo came out prior, but here's a reprint of it with a uh, different artwork. Come on. Oh, oh, top. Here we go. Really? So there's the ultra rare Heat Leo. The thing looks so cool. Got on the box. And uh, the next one is Salamangrate Mirage Stallio. Oh, let's focus on there. There we go. So that's really cool. That's your XYZ monster. Your next uh, Salamangrate Bay Lynx is your level uh, one, level four lower Cybers monster. So that lets you basically protect yourself by banishing it from the graveyard. Um, if you have a Salaman Great from being destroyed by battle or card effect. And then the uh, Gazelle, Salaman Great Gazelle, which uh, basically lets you, let's see, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is a normal summon, send one card from your deck to the graveyard. So basically, it's a foolish burial. So that's pretty good. And then Salaman Great Spinny. So if you control the Salaman Great card, you can discard this card and target one face up card. It gains 500 until the end of the turn. And if you control another monster except Spinny, then this card, and it's in the graveyard, you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. So pretty good for recursion there. Uh, Salaman Great Circle. So I only have one of these, of course. Structure deck. I'm gonna see if I can pull pull two more, but this is definitely a card you want to have three of. Activate one of these effects. Add a Salamander Great card from your deck to your hand. I mean, obviously, duh. Or target one Link monster you control, who is Link Summon using a monster of the same name as material, and it's unaffected by uh, card effects. It's sick of its own. So that's one of the big things about this deck is that um, their field spell allows you to basically Link Summon them using their same material, like the same name. So, I'll show you that when, they, when we find it here. Uh, Salaman Great Roar. Really good uh, counter trap. Let's see. Get the activation. 
So if you control the Link Monster and negate the activation, if you destroy the card while this card's in the graveyard, and you have a Link Monster, it's Link summoned to the field using a monster with the same name, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. So they're all about using the same cards as material. So Then Raccoon. So these are all going to be your level 1s. Mole. You can jump up to Foul. And then this is a one of the 2800 beat stick, so beat bison. And level two mirror. Foxy. Falco. So a lot of these have already come out, but like beat bison, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, beat bison is new, and then uh, Fowl's new, and then the mole and the raccoon. Um, Falco's come out though. Jack Jaguar has been out. Wolvie, I think, is not new either, so, um, Pero. <clears throat> a lot of these, again, have just, like, the recursion where, it, like, it, maybe if they go to the graveyard, it triggers their effect to, um, like, pop something from your, uh, opponent's board, or, uh, like, Foxy, you can excavate the top three, you know, and then pull one of the cards from there, and then shuffle it back into the deck, so... Boxer, and then just a fire monster, True King Ag. Oh, I always have a hard time. Agnamazud, Agnamazud, the Vanisher. Dogaron, the Mad Flame Kaiju, so just another fire monster. Flameville Fire Dog, Fencing Fire Ferret, nice. Inferno, nice, here we go. So beautiful. Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, and I'll go ahead and throw my other one into this deck to make it a little bit better, obviously. Red Resonator helps you uh, summon level 4 lower monsters from your hand, so always nice. Volcanic Shell, two of them, because obviously you need more than one in your uh, deck if you're going to use it, because of its effect. And then Formid Skipper, this is one that people are going off about, uh, let's see, you have a real one Link Monster and an extra deck, and if you do this, uh, when you link summon this turn, you can treat this card as a link material with the same name, attribute, and type that's revealed. So basically, you can link summon with this. No, actually, that's not correct. Actually, anyway, moving on. Solomon Great Claw, really cool quick spell. This is the uh, field spell, which lets you basically uh, link summon using the same name as the entire material. Uh, their continuous spell lets you, uh, during your main phase, special summon one from your hand or graveyard. That's really good. And then just, you know, basically deck fodder that they throw in here. Monster Reincarnation, Circle of Fire Kings, Transmodify, Link Bound. So all of these are not necessarily, like, archetype-centric, so. Nice Planter, Solomon Great Rage, nice. Uh... Send one of the Mangrates monsters from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard, then target one card on the field and destroy it. So, it's pretty good. Uh, Salamangrate Great Gift. Transmigration Prophecy. Threatening Roar. Wow. Break Off Trap Hole. So for Link Monsters. Right? Backfire. Fire Monsters. Goes and Match. Nice. I've already got a couple of the super rares, so I'll go ahead and add those probably in there. And then here's the other um, printing, so two different uh, artworks there. Then Flame Administrator and Doolittle Chimera. So pretty cool, fun deck. Um, I suggest go ahead and picking one up. If you can, good luck. Um, if not, you'll have to just order it online, but I think my nephew was able to find this at Walmart, so I checked all my local Walmarts, at least in my area, and they were all out, so when he found it, he grabbed one for sure. But again, thanks for checking out the channel. I do appreciate everybody that watches, and remember to go ahead and check the links down in the descriptions for my social medias. Um, again, I'll leave a, a link in the description for my Inked Gaming. And I will check you guys later. Well, these out.